Nationwide protest in Ndibo Shum protest opens market. The man on conditional list of Mazen Namde Khan. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. As you and IEC says no to protest, demand justice for all. No differential, so that is all ad hoc justice for few Nigerians. Next 10 point demand from Tinibu for Nigerians to have peace. All market stores and artisans shop in Newi, the industrial town of Onesha. The commercial city of Anambra State opened for business as traders and used Shonde slash MBAT governors slash nationwide protests that started today across the country. As usual, as early as 6 30 a.m., commercial buses and tricycles movement were noticeable on the roads and streets in Indewe and Onesha, conveying traders and artisans to their respective market stores and shops in the town. Ndibo had several made the opposition known to the planned protests or 10 days of rage that started today. One Igbo vocal group that made the opposition categorically clear to the protest is United Igbo Elders Council, UNIEC, worldwide and their stand according to a statement they issued Thursday morning based essentially on the different attitude to human rights that the organizers have shown towards the Igbo stroke East in particular, and the other Nigerians as well. UNIEC, in a statement signed by its director of media and publicity, Prof. Obasi Iwe, and its coordinator general, his lordship Afa Justice, said that the loud silence signaling acquiescence of some of its organizers to the extremely targeted injustice against the Igbo stroke East, and for the last nine years, orchestrated killing with countless evidence of official involvement or connivance with no sympathy from anywhere baffles imagination. UNIC further stated that right now, even before the August date, the Igbo are already being threatened, attacked and molested in Lagos with no word of condemnation by those said to be fighting against the bad governors. Nevertheless, the Igbo population being the major victims understands the Nigerian situation very well and know what can be done to address it, starting with ending the unparalleled operations of Easterners. UNIEC statement entitled Rage or Protest in Nigeria, Position of the United Igbo Elder Council Worldwide rather made 10 point demand on Mr. President to stabilize Nigeria instead of supporting the protest. Some of the demand includes the immediate lifting of the economy and post blockage against the Igbo stroke east imposed since 1967 and subsisting till today by which Port Harcourt, Boni, Opopo and other eastern ports were rendered infertile except for oil purposes compelling the Igbo to divert a masses to Lagos to conduct their maritime businesses. The continued closure or neglect of those precious Igbo and other Eastern ports in the main source of the industrialization, the population, dissolution, poverty, and bitterness in the East, with spillover affair to the Middle Belt and beyond. The so called Southeast Development Commission, SEDC, would at best be an exercise to honor everybody without the ports, resuming their functionality for the Igbo and others. Insecurity in the East is particular, provocative, military sizes in dense civilian built up areas, unknown government, phony wars against insurgents, importation and condemnation of flanny and allied terrorists into farms, highways and footpaths of the East. Wrecking havoc, illegal taxation and official robberies by armed personnel along the eastern roads were all orchestrated by your predecessor. The Igbo are not at war with federal government and we demand that the orchestrated state of war organized by Buhari and his co-travelers be ended together with the policies supporting it to return the east to peace and security pending their total and comprehensive reorganization, the underrepresentation 
of the Igbo in the army and the other military security services should be addressed immediately with concessionary recruitment and promotion of the Igbo into the various column of command. Domination of Igbo businesses and homes in Lagos and Abuja should end forthwith and appropriate compensation paid to victims. The land we are lawfully acquired and the occurring taxes and other payment already in the state government and federal coffers. And nobody out suddenly be inventing a right of way policy so to just be destroying the right to life, properties and justice. Those organized demolition have never happened anywhere in the history apart from Nazak Germany in which all manners of laws and pretext were invented to deprive the Jews of their properties. As a matter of urgency, the federal government should purge the farm and the forest of the east and middle bed of the Fulani and allied terrorists masquerading as headers and pause a policy of return to their ancestral homes of those unlawfully expelled from them into IDPS come together with compliance with state anti-open grazing laws. People at no time demanded the removal of subsidy because it never existed in the first place. What was demanded was removal of the scam in subsidy and return to a hundred naira price per litre of petrol and corresponding prices for gas and electricity to promote trade, ease of doing businesses, industrialization and jobs in Nigeria. Debo completely aligned with this demand, the high fuel cost together with farm invasion and kidnapping are the major cause of escalating food prices in Nigeria. The Igbo totally reject the so-called student loan scam and demand the restoration of government bursaries and the scholarship, a drastic reduction of school fees to the barest affordable minimum, a return to effective free education at all levels, and an end to the exploitation of Nigerians by sundry communications and other service providers. Let the federal government focus more on national building for equal benefit to all and ignore the individual and circles attempting to drive it into the tight corner of ethnic glorification and triumphalism. The Igbo would continue to demand the unconditional lease and rehabilitation of Mazen Namdekanu Hukano and his colleagues for long detained and tortured with many other extrajudicial executed outside of accepted civilized norm. Namdekana and his men are political prisoners and there is no reason why Nigerians should continue to hold them captive. Finally, the Igbo demands the immediate restructuring of the country to liberate her ethnic nationalities, including the Hausa, reduce cost of governance, establish new and viable poles of development other than the Lagos through Western assist and trigger head competitive mutual emulation between viable region justice for all, not differential selective or ad hoc justice for some is what Nigeria should be demanding. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening. Do not forget to share this news, like it and subscribe to this channel. First of all, I love what our brother said is well come development but they should have first of all started this particular demand from the release of Namdekan. but nevertheless they did right the most important thing is that his demand was there Mazen Namdekan, even as in custody of DSS we the Igbos respect him this is why when he said don't protest against this government you do not bring them in let those who bring them in protest and today Igbos has answered that call they refuse to protest we have said it before that no matter what people do both some of them in desperate are making noise they can never be lamas and they can i think i've come to the end of this news thank you so much for watching